Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to convert text to dates in Excel. So this was a question submitted from Mark, who's a member of my Pivot Ready course, and a great question here. He has a column in his data set with, a, uh, with dates, it dates and timestamps just like this, and he wants to convert this to dates that Excel recognizes because Excel's not recognizing this as an actual date and we can't sort this column. We also can't add it to our pivot table and group it. Uh, Excel just doesn't recognize this as a date. So it's hard to work with this column. So what we need to do is convert it to a date and time that Excel recognizes like we have here in column B. So I'm going to explain one way to do this in this video, uh, but I'd also like to present it as a challenge to you to share uh, what your solution would be or how you would go about doing this in Excel. Because there's many different ways to do this in Excel and you can share in the comments below how you would go about this. So first of all, let's explain this uh, text stored or this date stored as text text here in column A. I'm just going to add a little space here so we can take a look at this value. So as we can see in cell A2 here, we do have a date. We have the day of the week, the month, the day of the month, then the time, then the time zone, and the year. So we do have a date and time here. Excel just doesn't recognize this as a date and time, because mostly because it's out of order and we have this time zone in here, which confuses things a little bit. And one way to see that Excel is not recognizing this is to just select the cell and then on the home tab of the ribbon, go here to the number format dropdown. When we click the dropdown, we can see that all the previews of the different number formats. We're just getting that same text right here in every single number format. Now, if we were to select cell B2, which is the converted value, date and time value, and then go to the number format dropdown, we can see here that we're uh, getting a number representation of that date. We also get the short date preview here and the time. So this means that Excel is recognizing this as a date and time. And those are really just numbers in Excel that are formatted as a date. So this number here is the number of days that has elapsed since January 1st, 1900. And then the decimal is the time value. And I have a whole other article that explains the calendar system and how dates work in Excel in more detail. And I'll put a link to that below this video. So again, our challenge is to take this text here and convert it to a date and time. So I'm going to share one probably uncommon solution to this challenge using flash fill. So in this uh, sheet here, again, I have my column A, which is full of my dates, my text-based dates. And we want to use, we're going to use flash fill to convert this to a date and time. So in column B2, or in column B, I'm first going to extract the date. And in cell B2, I'm just going to type the date that we see in cell A2, which is March 14th, 2017. We'll just type that date here, just like we see in the cell. So March 14, I'm going to add a comma, space, and then 2017. And when I hit enter here, Excel is going to recognize that as a date. We can see it changed the date format. And if we look in the formula bar here, we can also see the date right there. And now we can use flash fill, which is on the data tab of the ribbon. There's a flash fill button right here. I'm just going to click that button with that cell selected. And what Excel does is it finds that pattern, that same pattern of that date in all of the cells in column A and extracts it and places it in column B. So we can now see that we have the date for each cell here in column B. So that's a very quick way to go about finding the date uh, from this cell right here. Now we also need to do the time as well. So we can do the time. In this case, I'm just gonna double click uh, to edit the cell and then highlight the timestamp right here. And then we can hit Control C or right click copy and we'll paste it here in cell C2. So right click paste or Control V and we now have our timestamp right here. And we can do the exact same thing with flash fill. So again, data tab of the ribbon click the flash fill button keyboard shortcut is control e and that will fill down our timestamps now one quick note here that i learned from doing this is that if you start with a time that only has one digit for the hours like this time right here uh, flash fill doesn't tend to recognize that or it uses the wrong am pm conversion so start with a time uh, that has two digits for the uh, hour so anything uh, 10 o'clock am or after 
like we have here. And then Flashfill does recognize that. We can see this converts to 7.09 p.m. If we select this cell here, that's uh, 3.21 a.m. So everything looks good here. So now the next step is to just uh, combine the date and the time into the same cell if we, if we wanna have that. And so we can do that in column D here by just adding the two values together. So I'm gonna type equals and then uh, select cell B2 type plus and then cell C2. So we're just gonna add those values together and hit enter. Now Excel recognize that, recognizes that in the date and time and automatically formats that. But actually what's happening there, if we go to the home tab and convert this back to a uh, general format or a number format, uh, we get the date value here, which again is the number of days that have elapsed since January 1st, 1900. So that's what this 42,000 808 number is and then the decimal is just the fraction of a day so that's the hours minutes and seconds uh, as a fraction of the day so that's the numeric value there the value that represents the date and then in excel we just convert that to a date format and we can do that by uh, right clicking here going to format cells or control one on the keyboard that'll bring up the format cells window and then from the category we'll choose date and we do have an option here uh, for the date that includes the date and the time. Of course, you can go customize this further to uh, display it however you'd like, but we'll just choose that for now and click OK. So now we see our date and time in this cell. And again, that's a date and time that Excel is recognizing, and we can use it in our pivot tables for grouping and sorting and all that kind of stuff. And now we'll just fill this down, fill down the formula. So we'll just double click the fill handle, and we now have a column of dates and times that Excel recognizes. And you can go copy and paste values back over your original uh, column if you want to do that, or you can just add a new column to your data set with this new value. So that's one way to go about this challenge using FlashFill. Unfortunately, I don't believe FlashFill is available on the Mac version of Excel yet, so we'll have to use a different solution for this. And as I said before, please leave a comment below this video with your solution to this challenge because there are many ways to go about this. And then I'll create a follow-up video with some of the most popular solutions that you suggest. And it'll be a great way to learn different ways to go about this problem in Excel. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.